Hi, I'm Tom D and I want to show you how to upload video to Bananet using Postman and API. I will describe how to upload video using Postman and how to play it. You will set up the metadata and upload video file. Let's start. First step is to create a video library, which will be the catalog for videos. You need to specify the name for that video library. Let's make it geese, these videos. Send it. Now video library is getting created. In return, you will get the ID for that video library. Now you can get the video library ID. API key you, use for, you will use for authentication and ID of video library you use in the URL. So now we are creating the video. It's not exactly the video file, but it's metadata, the description of video. So you place the ID of video library, update API key, which you got after creating video library. Go to body, raw, and JSON. The field is called title. So you specify title for that file. New Goose, Goose Movie. You can format it. Click on beautiful and save it, this request, and send it. You can verify that this video place call holder was created properly by copying the ID of that video and ID of the video library. So you have video library ID, videos. Of course, you need to update the API key as well from authentication section because you authenticate per video library. API key is in place. So now you have a list of videos. All videos that are in this library. To add thumbnail, you need to create the new request. You duplicate existing one, change the name to set thumbnail. thumbnail and you need to use your video ID. You place it between videos and thumbnail. You need to set the parameter thumbnail URL and specify URL address of that image. For video captions, create a new request by duplicating, let's say, create, a, create video request. Change the name to add captions, for example, to movie. Type to post and the request should include video ID slash captions. English body. Now edit the JSON file here.
source language set to en. label as English and captions file here you need to place the file content encoded in base64 so convert the file of captions into base64 format. base64 minus i as input and file name. In return you have encoded captions in base64. So copy that and place it as a value for that captions file property. Send it. Send it. Captions are uploaded. When you refresh the video using get API, you can see the captions are there. Finally, after editing all this metadata, you can upload the video using API call. You need to specify a library so you can copy existing URL. So you have a library id videos slash video id update your api key from our authorization section place it in a value now type to put of the request and body in body you need to switch to binary type and now select the file Optionally change name of the request to upload video. Save it. Now specify the file. It's a video file that you want to upload. And click on send. Once video is uploaded, you can go to the banner.net page and see that video is under processing right now. You need to wait some time once it's done. Once video is processed, you can see the thumbnail is visible and you can see the title and zero views right now. To play video, click on that. A new page will be open and confirm that everything is fine. You can change the resolution settings. You can pause it and enable captions. So you can see the captions that you created. Thank you for watching this video. I'm sure that you understand everything and you'll be enjoying using that API calls.